exciting news. We're moving! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you acting so tired? I don't know. I'm not acting. Be yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Alright. <laughs> Hi everybody, in case you're new here, my name is Paige. I'm an activist for women's health and empowerment. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I love you. I'm so grateful for you. Today we have a very exciting announcement. This is my boyfriend Brock. And we that, that's the announcement. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. Um, no, that's not the <laughs> announcement. But we are moving and we're so excited yeah. because where are we moving to? Austin. We're moving to Austin, Texas. I feel like yes. people normally wait in these videos to tell you at the way end and it's like this whole drawn out thing, but no. We're terrible at surprises. We both like ruin surprises right away. Like I'll buy him a present and I'm like, babe, I bought you a present. Like I have to tell you what it is right no, now. No, but no, she'll be like, No, I bought I got you a surprise. It's like so don't tell me you got me surprised. Just surprise me. We're so bad at surprises. So anyway, there's no surprise here. We're moving. We're so excited to be going to Austin, Texas. But I realized that I was like, oh my gosh, I want to tell everybody that we're moving. And then I'm like, wait, people are probably going to be a little bit confused. So let's back it up and kind of explain everything that kind of led up to this crazy move. So before the pandemic hit, I found an awesome apartment on the Lower East Side in New York City. Was so excited to move in moved into this awesome apartment or so I thought and realized that when I moved in, nothing worked. The hot water barely worked. The oven and stove never worked. Literally couldn't turn it on. Wasn't working. Um, the shower didn't drain. The shower didn't like basically it was this beautiful looking apartment, but nothing in it actually worked. And then the pandemic hits. I started to freak out. My family started to freak out, but thankfully Brock was like, Oh, you can move in on Long Island with me. So I lived in New York City, he lived um, on Long Island. Is it in Long Island or on Long Island? Whatever. Whatever. Who cares? He's like, you can move in with me. Well, his apartment, even though I'm so grateful he let me move in with him, is very dark and not ideal for like shooting content or having meetings all day. And because everything was virtual, I was always here. Also, I don't have a car because I've been in New York City for what, the past like six years. And so when he would go to work, cause he's an essential worker um, and had to work all through quarantine, and still is working all through quarantine um, or through the pandemic, I would just be here all by myself all day with Bossy and we like couldn't leave. So if I needed something, needed groceries or coffee or anything, I couldn't leave. So it was getting more and more challenging. Yeah, that Uber Eats bill was racking up. <laughs> like seriously was. <laughs> um, so that like became a little bit stressful. And then I think the hardest thing for me was I was calling around because I could no longer go to my New York City doctors. Like I was at NYU for six years, whatever. I started calling around to make new doctor visits here on the island. And all of a sudden I'm getting all these calls being like, um, you don't have insurance that's like applicable to New York. And I'm like, what do you mean? When I left my career at GMA and became my own boss, I had to get like an individual insurance plan. And so when I did that, I only have coverage. I have like Blue Cross or Blue Shield in California. I only have coverage in California now. And so they're like, you don't have insurance here in, in New York. And I'm like, what? So now I can't go to any doctor's appointments in New York. So now the pandemic hits and I have no insurance in New York. And so that's when I'm like starting to obviously freak out because God forbid something happens. I can't really see any doctors, can't go to the hospital unless I want to pay out of pocket. I'm already paying $500 a month, or I think actually a little bit more than $500 a month. I can't afford to like pay anything else. So Brock and I sit down, we're like, what are we gonna do? Because he has to go to work, he's an essential worker. And essentially I have to go back to California and we have to do long distance. We just had to do what was best for uh, Paige at the time, honestly, you know? She had to go see doctors and God forbid something did happen where she got COVID or something, especially because I'm an essential worker. So I have increased exposure um then she would really be unfortunate out in new york so it turned out to be better for her to be in california just in case even though it's so sad for us yeah so anyway i end <laughs> up <laughs> you're like yeah it did suck <laughs> it sucked doing long yeah. distance was really hard and really challenging um especially like early on in in our relationship i love that you were like yeah we've been together for a year at that point 
I'm like, babe, we have not It felt like it, let me tell you. <laughs> it did. I feel like early on we were just like, oh, like this just feels really good and really natural. Anyway, so I decide to go back to California and I spend, you know, the next like what, six to eight months there. Mm -hmm. And while I'm in California, you know, we're doing long distance and I have this realization when I'm there that I'm actually kind of over being in New York City. And I call Brock and I'm like, babe, what if we move to California? Like, I just love being around my family. I really want to spend more time with Cammie, my little sister. You know, I think we should move to California. And that's when you were like, well, you know, Cameron's going to be graduating in less than a year or in a year. Mm -hmm. You know, she's most likely going to go to UT. Um, my sis I went to UT. My other sister went to UT. That's Cammie's dream school. What if? What if we move to Austin? I have family there. She... She has roots there. We both love the city. And we had been there right before COVID had hit. And, like, kind of, we just had a blast while we were there. So, it like. Oh, yeah. Uh, we went to Austin because. Um, of a breast year, uh, the retreat. Breast Ambassador Retreat. So, in March. Right like before. Right before the it's pandemic. It's probably, like, two weeks before, like, the whole nation went under lockdown. Right before we went into lockdown, we had the Breast Ambassador Retreat and we Brock came with to help me set up and get everything organized and everything. Um, and we had so much fun. And both of us having these roots in Austin was such a big part of our connection. When we first met, we were like, oh my gosh, like we are so, there were so many signs. Mm -hmm. I feel like that made us feel like we had this connection, yeah. this like strong connection that yeah. was like bigger than us almost, mm -hmm. you know? Um, More on that at a later date. At a later date. He was like, oh my God, what if we moved to Austin? I'm like, I feel like I never would have thought of Austin as like mm -hmm. an, a possibility for us, <clears throat> you know? Yeah. But I, I always, you know, I, I've always loved Austin, you know, and obviously she did too. She spent four years of her life there and, you know, it was, her sister is a bright girl. We knew she was not going to have an issue with getting into UT. So we uh, had just started to plan on... We kind of like moving. just manifested it. We were like, yeah. okay, I mean, there's probably like a 99% chance that Cameron's going to get into UT. Let's just, you know, jump the gun. We're going to like just say, okay, we're moving to Austin and like pray that she gets in to Austin, to UT. And like, you know, that, that's just what's happening. Mm -hmm. So we're like, oh my God, okay, we're moving to Austin. And so that's kind of what sparked all of this. And I'm so excited because officially as of like a couple weeks ago, Cammy got into UT. I'm excited. You gotta just stand there with all your balloons and we take a picture. Oh my god. We're so happy. We found an apartment in Austin that we're obsessed with that we love. Sick apartment. It's amazing. I'm so happy to just finally have like space and natural light. We have a balcony. We have two balconies yeah, cur actually. Currently I, I the my place is a basement apartment, you know. No natural one light. One window. Oh, so <laughs> one tiny little Paige is struggling for sure. I love his apartment. I love our home now. Um, but I'm very excited for this move for both of us. Yeah, it's a huge upgrade for sure. It's a huge upgrade. We're both super excited. There's a garden. If you've ever watched our in my Instagram stories, you've seen that Brock took up gardening during quarantine. Um, and he's actually an incredible, he has such a green thumb where you're putting up your thumb. Yeah, hopefully you'll edit in a green thumb. <laughs> I do not know how to do that, but I'll try. <laughs> um, but yeah, he took up gardening in quarantine and he, we, there's like a little community garden. There's a gym there. So like, we don't have to worry about like going a to gym membership, a right? gym membership or going to a gym somewhere else. And like, you know, just like being safe and things like that. So we're so excited. It's super dog friendly. So Bossy's coming along too. Obviously Bossy's coming. She's already wearing her little hook'em Austin um, bandana. Is this a bandana or like, yeah, little thing. We're super excited to move. We can't wait to go to Austin and we're excited to keep you along for the ride. I already am like going to be calling this week to get new insurance, to get that transferred over. Brock's insurance is a big thing too. He's a type one diabetic. So he understands like the struggles of doctors and insurance and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully you can help me navigate this because I feel very, he's like, oh, no pressure. But I feel stressed <laughs> out. And my own doctor's <laughs> yeah. lucky too. And yeah, we're just excited and not excited to start packing up this place. Oh, I know. <laughs> we're, we're, we're loading up on boxes, but the boxes are not getting loaded up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got lots of boxes, but they haven't started to get yeah. packed yet. How many did we have? How many days? 38. 
38 days to go. So, so move in day. That's not even that's not even travel or anything. Yeah. The apartment has to be packed up before that, like 10 days before. So we really oh, only yeah. have like 30 days to pack up the apartment. So anyway, we wanted to keep you along for the ride. The heat is on. The heat is on. If you've moved throughout the pandemic, if you have any tips, please let us know. We're super excited though for this fresh start and for this new chapter in our lives together. Yeah. Yay. Woo. Also, horns down. No, you can't do that anymore. So he went to freaking West Virginia. I'm obviously a longhorn. You can't do that anymore. Hook em horns is all we have to say. Thief, stop. Goodbye. He's out of the video. Hook em horns. We'll see you soon, Austin, Texas. We love you and we hate Brock. Goodbye. <laughs>